What's up, y'all? This is Tommy Twin Allies here bringing you the search six tips and tricks for beginners. I finally got the full playthrough. I've been playing this off and on because of work and other nonsense, like raising a family. So let's begin. Number six drone modules. Most importantly, concussive module. This ability works wonders when you have multiple enemies, or with some of the other humanoid bosses. This with it, you can stun them for a second or two when you get a few hits in. With bosses like Black Servers or Rogue Process, it also allows you a second or two to catch your breath or simply break their combos. Overall, I found it a lot more useful than any of the other drone modules I've found. Number 5. Shortcuts. I know this seems like a no-brainer, but shortcuts are all over this game. It kind of feels like Dark Souls 1 in that aspect. If it takes you longer than a minute and a half to get back to the ops room from pretty much anywhere on the map, you probably missed a shortcut. Most shortcuts are hidden behind the lift, which are also hidden behind crates most of the time, or in tight corners around the room. Remember to search through everything and everywhere for easy access to these shortcuts. You can also use the map that are around the areas to find your way. It's kind of hard to figure out the maps because they're 2D and the world itself is 3D. But with it you'll be able to kind of figure out where you are and where you should be. You should always try to strive to go to, to the train stations. Number 4. Load out based on your preference. The sweet thing about the surge is that you can easily respect your stats from the ops bay. You can also sell the implants you have extra off for a few extra pieces of scrap here and there. Warning though, you cannot recover the sold implants. While out and about exploring, I will load up with a lot of instant health and health injectors. That along with regain health from executions will make me last a while out there, especially in the later zones. When I'm focusing on leveling and getting extra sold, implants give you a ridiculous amount of scrap to level up, especially later in the game when you start getting the power versions of these items. Also, it is important to note you can stack these effects. Say you have two 20% extra scrap implants, it would add up to 40%. After a while, you'll be rolling in dough. Which leads me to... Number 3. Scrap multiplier is based on execution. After every execution, you get a 0.10 scrap multiplier with a cap of 5. That means that eventually, you'll get 5 times more scrap per kill. This with the added on scrap multiplier implants, can get you a huge boost on your scrap. When the scrap is needed to craft upgrade gear and level up your power core, it is very important to perform a few scrap runs before leaving the zone you are in. Hence, every time you go into a new zone, the enemies are deadlier, faster, and stronger. It is also important to know that going back to the ops room resets your scrap multiplayer. Number 2. Gear drops based on which limbs you focus on damaging and executions you performed. If you are eyeing an enemy that has a piece of gear you like, cut it off and make it your own. The more damage it takes, the more chances you get to have it. Also specifically, you will not just automatically get the piece of gear or weapon, you will get the salvageable part so you can make it into your own from the ops bay. You have to kill the same enemy with the same gear a few times in order to have the material to craft your gear. Note that you also have to damage the body part and perform a proper execution on that body part in order for the salvage to drop. You can't just aim for the head and switch to the body part that you want and trigger the execution. It doesn't work that way. And now finally to number one and the most useful tip for this game that I found is turn off the auto lock. I probably got to the third boss before I realized there was a big ass problem with the way I was playing the game. I have no idea why this wasn't a default setting, but in the menu there's an option to turn off the auto lock. So basically when you land a hit on an enemy, it auto locks on that enemy. When fighting multiple enemies, this feature makes it ridiculously hard to keep track on everything going on. When fighting the third boss, there are multiple arms coming at you from the few sides. With the auto lock feature on, it was just almost impossible to properly dodge those things. Only after I started fidgeting with the settings that I noticed this could be done. Fighting multiple enemies at once was simple after that. And there you have it, my top 6 tips and tricks for the search. If you learned anything at all, would you please leave a like and if you're super cool, leave us a crap. It has been time between the lines, signing out. Thank you.